if it's been a long time since you played it, let's let's see what an average playthrough would look like. What the fuck? That's it. Now, let's see what just one simple cheat can do to improve this game. Does it make it a great game? No, but it does definitely make it a little bit more playable. Now, I obviously have the cartridge, I have a console, but this particular trick to make this game a little more playable, you actually have to have Project 64. That is an emulator anybody can download it now the ROM might be a little hard to come by let's hop on the emulator emulator I'm having trouble with words today and uh, let's see how this improvement will polish this turd then there's no time to waste okay so what this emulator cheat does mainly is it removes all the rings except for the first one and the last one uh, the timer up at the top is still the same and everything. It just gives you a little bit more freedom to, to roam around and it makes it feel like more of a Superman game. Uh, one of the good things about this being on emulators, you can tweak things like controls. I remember that on the original N64 console, this Superman game was like really overly sensitive with the flight controls. And it meant, you know, you oversteer and you go to the wrong ring. Mainly, the, the rings were the hard, most horrible part of this game. Uh, later on, they start moving around. And since Superman, the way he flies, is so, like, sporadic, you'll just fly right through it. You have to loop back around and you run out of time. It was just a big pain in the ass. So, the two main things that saved this game, being on an emulator, well, three, if you want to count the better visuals, uh, you could mess with the control configuration a little bit, make it a little less sensitive, and uh, it removes the, the pesky rings and makes you feel a little bit more uh, like Superman. This part right here, I failed just because I suck at the game. Alright, there you have it. Does it make it great? No, it doesn't. I did have the urge to continue playing, which is something that I've never experienced with this game before. So I can say that it does make it more enjoyable to play. That being said, the failing one time and sending it back to the start screen is fucking aggravating, and there's nothing I can do about that. But the rings were my big uh, problem with the game. The other problem, I think I said there was three things. The third thing was the bosses in this game are like really easy. And it's really strange that where you want it to be easier, it's fucking super hard. And where you want it to be a little harder, it's really easy. So it, it's just, it flipped the script. And I think that's ultimately what fucked a lot of kids over, you know, and that's what screwed my birthday up. So that game, I just despise. Uh, so yeah, anybody, if they ever ask, what is the worst game on N64? Maybe I haven't played enough N64 games. I have like 100, 200 right now, something like that. But I haven't found, found a worse one than this. So if there's a shittier game out there you want to see me play and watch me suffer, suggest it to me. That being said, that's all I have for you today. Take care, enjoy your weekend, stay safe, and we'll see you again soon. Peace.